The moment you hear it, it's already too late. A flash of muscle, a blur of motion, and then impact. A powerful horse kick doesn't come with a warning siren. It comes with silence. And then everything changes. They're called the most dangerous kicks in the animal kingdom. Not because horses seek to harm, <laughs> but because when they do react, it's absolute, measured, explosive, and terrifyingly fast. Welcome to the world of natural defense. Today, we're stepping inside the quiet storm that is the equine reflex, the instant response that turns a grazing giant into a creature capable of launching a 320 kilometer per hour strike straight from its hindquarters. This is not a video about animals being mean. This is about instinct, about space, about what happens when that space is crossed. Let's begin with a moment caught on a rural security camera. It's a peaceful morning. A horse stands calmly near a wooden fence, swishing its tail gently. From behind, a curious dog trots into view. Ears perk, tongue out, clearly just exploring. It gets closer, closer, almost under the horse's belly. Then, without turning its head, without lifting a hoof beforehand, the horse launches a rear leg kick that lands squarely against the dog's ribs. dog rolls once, then again, disoriented, before stumbling to its feet and limping away. No nay, no stomp, just pure calculated reaction. Veterinarians and animal behaviorists agree. This isn't aggression. This is programming, evolution. The horse's nervous system is one of the most sensitive among large mammals. A sudden touch to its flanks, tail, or hind legs sends an immediate signal to the spine, triggering a reflex movement more powerful than most trained martial artists could ever deliver.
In fact, studies from the University of Kentucky's Equine Research Center have clocked horse kicks at up to 200 miles per hour with enough force to break femurs, shatter ribs, or rupture organs. To a predator, that's a fight stopper. To a domestic dog that got too close, it's a painful warning that survival instincts don't play favorites. Horses are prey animals. For thousands of years, they've survived by being alert, fast, and brutally efficient when cornered. Kicking is not a choice, it's a language. And that language doesn't tolerate interruption. In an open field, a horse can run, but when boxed in by fencing, by stalls, or by a group of excited animals, it chooses the next best option, creates space, fast. That's what we saw in these early moments a calculated demand for distance. And unlike dogs, horses don't growl before they react. They don't bare their teeth. They, kick, they shift weight, they snap. One of the most fascinating aspects of the horse kick is that it doesn't require vision. Horses can kick directly behind them with remarkable accuracy, even without turning their heads. Their peripheral sensory systems, including their tails, haunches, and even the position of their ears, function like early warning radars. The second they feel a touch that signals danger, the reflex arc fires without cerebral permission. It's automatic. It's prehistoric. It's a split-second survival program that works the same whether the threat is a lion, a bear, or a house pet. Which brings us to the human role in all of this. Dogs, of course, don't understand equine space in the same way. To many dogs, a horse is just a big, weird animal. Fun to bark at, fun to chase, fun to investigate. But when left unsupervised, especially around unfamiliar horses, the risks rise fast. And in nearly all the cases captured on camera, the real failure isn't the dog or the horse, it's the human who hey, didn't oh, intervene. Riley, come here. Understanding the kick reflex means understanding boundaries. Hey, oh, Riley, come here. Horse owners know this well. Many will warn visitors to never stand directly behind a horse Hello? Oh. Even if it's calm. Groomers. <laughs> Handlers and farriers wear protective gear, not because horses are malicious but because even the most gentle draft horse can they unleash more force per square inch than the punch of a heavyweight boxer. And unlike a boxer, the horse doesn't need to aim. It just feels, reacts, and resets. This isn't just fascinating biology. It's also a reminder that respect in the animal world isn't earned through affection. 
It's earned through awareness. Horses, majestic, social, beautiful creatures, don't want to fight, but they will protect their space. And when they do, the consequences are swift, silent, and unforgettable. Oh, my God. 